Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to our shop tour, the 360 version. Go ahead and look around and if you're on your phone, you can move it around with your phone or you can just tap and move, swipe around and move around. Make sure your audio setting, your quality setting is not set to auto. Make sure it's on the highest quality so you can get the full pixels. That should be just 1080 since we're using okay. the Theta S camera here. Yep. So let's talk about our main area. This is where all of our printers are stored. A total of four shelves. The 24 inch one for the smaller size and then these bigger ones are the 48 inch size. So you can get these at Lowe's and they are the uh, black steel ones. So you can just adjust those how you need. Yep, so uh, the printers are in the main spot here and below the printers are the spools of filament. There's, I, I can't count how many spools, there's too many lost to count. Track. Yeah. But they are out in the open because uh, we don't have any moisture problems here because we have central AC. We also have a HEPTA filter that's running over here. Keeps the air all nice the and dust away. away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool so wraps. we have ABS, PLA, all of the wood and We have so much filaments. Ninja Flex. Yeah. <laughs> too much Ninja Flex, every color. Right below that are the power uh, backups, the battery backups, APC. XS1500, and it's just the APC. A couple uh, of power strips, uh, and for all the printers, of course, and we also need power strips for these LED lights. These are running off the trinket, and of course, some uh, power, uh, power supplies for the, the uh, Raspberry Pis. And then, um, again, with the shelves, you can adjust them based on whatever your printer height is. And we're using, did you talk about the shower curtains for um, doing some of the spools so we don't I have to like get behind these. there? These are really nice. You're able to just sort of take them off and put them anywhere you want. Instead of having to reach back in the spool holders, just set them up here. Right now, um, they're free, but uh, normally they're full of uh, filaments when you, when you quickly want to get the stuff. And of course, we have the blue tape there too. On top, we have all the bigger projects, sort of like the overstock of printers and like the like helmets and the drones. Yeah and uh, camera gear all up on this shelf over here. Easy access. Yeah, more camera and Dedicated, tripods. Yeah, Dedicated monitors. media stuff here. All these are just a bunch of different cables, a couple of little spool, 3D printed spool, spool holders for those cables, and just monitors, tripods, that sort of stuff. There's, there's more stuff here, like, like, into, like little adapters, um, GoPro holders, and things like that, and all these little bins here. So that's what that's for. Yeah. So the so area right here is actually where we actually shoot three hangouts to just move over the big, um, I want to say it's the 48 inch mm -hmm. um, bamboo ultimate gladiator. Yeah. yeah by Whirl Whirlpool. Yeah. So it's very sturdy. Um, we have these little uh, slippy slippers for the feet. Yeah. So it just slides so it around. Just slides around. For um, the background, we have like the 15 foot. Uh, backdrop here we have different colors have you seen in the videos we have like black gray green white and we just switch those out depending on what the project color is yep so this is of course a stand-up table and underneath it we have another table which is more of a fold-out table if we ever need to get something that's light colored with a black shots, background yeah. that's that and i 3d printed these uh, little feet in ninja flex so that they have a bit more of a grip to it mm -hmm. and it kind of stabilizes a little bit but it's still a little shaky yep. um, so that's pretty much uh the setup in this area here over there and next up we'll take a look at more of our workstation and our components okay so over here is sort of our main work area and where we store all of our components these are some really nice bins <laughs> yeah so these are the acro mills uh, bins and you can see we have different sizes. We have like the bigger ones and the smaller ones to store all the different components and here It's like the little mini Adafruit. Yeah, uh, we have everything from you know LEDs the servos to all the pies the monitors screens the everything displays, that we need for batteries, all the projects that come up neopixels <laughs> and for the bigger stuff the bigger rolls of uh, of NeoPixel strips are in, in these guys here. We just have also different assortments of here. This is a good little oh, movable sizes, thing. It's got yeah. wheels and stuff, and then of course screws and things here. Yep. Yeah. And, and the above. table over here is where we work. Um, we got the uh, knife cutting. cutter. Yeah. So, so we can do some prototyping, or we can cut some things here. More of a crafty area. This laptop moves around quite a bit. Yep. So something like over here, something's over there. Like the meeting laptop or the yeah. little. Uh, Octo print. Tell me about your area here, Pedro. You just have a laptop stand with uh, some hard drives. Yeah, so do a lot of the editing here. 
And yeah, it's just standard uh, little Cherry MX keyboard. Mm -hmm. What kind of Wacom tablet? Uh, this is a bamboo, and yep, I'm a Wac uh, Wacom user. I cannot use a mouse. Yeah, no. <laughs> so for all the drawing, like for all the 3D stuff, all mouse, or all pen based. Mm -hmm. And then we have the project uh, shelves over here. So a lot of the finished projects just you know get displayed on both of these guys over here. Yeah, we also have some down storage stuff here, like just mm -hmm. random bins and stuff like that of parts. Mm -hmm. If we ever need to get to them and make other ones, that's what we like to steer. Uh, stock stuff. M3D is in the back here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but she likes to sit there. It's, um, and it also has a Raspberry Pi back there. Yep, that's pretty much our editing little area here, just mm -hmm. a standard dinner table. Okay, next up we'll take a look at the kitchen. Right, and this is the kitchen. Anytime we need to shoot something like the chocolate molds or the bath bomb scenes, uh, we in the kitchen so the white tops really help to um, sort of bounce the light off a little bit more cleaner than having to set up the ginormous light box that light box that we have onto the uh, main printer area over there so uh, here's the kitchen drinks are over there and anytime we need to shoot like a home style sort of scene we'll set up in my room here just rearrange the furniture how we need. We've filmed the Super Game Pi episode here and the Game Controller episode here. Um, fun fact, this used to be where the uh, backdrop room was. So the green screen and all the cameras used to be all arranged inside here and I would just sleep with like cameras all over me. <laughs> but um, now we uh, just rearrange everything when we need to. Okay, and this is the garage. This is where we do a lot of the sanding, post-processing work. We have the Ember 3D printer over here. So we have the station for doing all the cleanup and all that over there. Another station over here is for um, staining. staining stuff, uh, applying finishes and other things like that. And if I ever need to drill anything or cut anything that has a lot of sawdust, I tend to do it in this table over here because you can easily clean it up and get the dust out of here that way. And then we have the Lulzbot and the Orion Delta 3D printers over here. Yep, those work well, because uh, if you ever need to print ABS, it's nice and warm here, so you yeah. can do that here. Yep. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Yep, a lot of people like to have their uh, the garage is just chock full of stuff. We try to keep it empty. You never put cars in here anymore, so <laughs> just try to keep it empty as you can and, and do a lot of the, the elbow grease work here. And that's pretty much it for the studio tour. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and let us know if you have any specifics on any of the tools or gear that we might have, might have missed. Yeah, a lot of details to cover, but uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you guys next time. We'll try to do some more 360 videos. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye.